Hello out there, undercover cursor. How's it? Do you like cinnamon? I am a fan. I can't live without it. I can't. Um, yeah. Life is really hard. And it's so hot. Like, wow. How are you doing? Undercover cursor. Undercover killer. Undercover wannabe brother. Under... Cover. Undercover. Undercover kisser. We shall call you Undercover Kissa. Ooh, it's 1806. So I can break my fast. I'm hungry and I'm feeling out of it because of Undercover Cursors. Undercover Cursors. It's the 10th of November 2023. And we're still dealing. I mean, for how long? With undercover curses. Guys, look how uneven my skin tone is. Like, what? This thing. Like, now I'm lighter here and here. Like, what? And here. Whatever. We're gonna wait for this thing to finish doing its job until I, like, look the same color everywhere. Undercover. Cover. Undercover killer, undercover cursor, undercover. How you doing in the name of Jesus Christ? It's your girl Cranky, and she's tired. Kikarabo, I hope you're good. Undercover cursor. Oh, I forgot to switch on my lights to improve lighting. One minute. Undercover rescue. Undercover wannabe. Did anything improve there? Let me just improve, like include some caveats. Undercover gangster, but in public, mm, you are regarded. What's up? I've got like a speech detector, a silence detector, sorry, that takes out my words. So let's just deal. I try to be comprehensible for the better part of the time. We're gonna improve that in the future. Because there is a future for the men of peace, okay? The second one, makeup. I'm wearing app makeup. Can you tell? How can you tell? How can you tell? Because <sighs> it's bouncing all over the show. Please don't give me grief for that. Undercover grief. We don't want grief even if it's undercover. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Undercover suffer. Undercover stealer. Oh, my captions are not always accurate. Oh, undercover inaccuracy. Except it's not undercover, it's the real deal. It's all up in your face. Undercover cover the leg. It's fine. I'll, I'll cut out the portions where, like, y'all, yeah, down below. Undercover. I can't help but carry. Undercover. I can't help but keep on talking about undercover. The captions are not always accurate. Sometimes they're also irreverent. Using a small G for God. Imagine that. Undercover lover. Ooh. Mmm. It's a kind. It's a kind. Oh, now the caption. I have a speech lag problem. Undercover speech lag. Every so often with my device. Undercover device. Hey, whatever. Mmm. Did I say everything? If you watch me every day, you know what I say every day. Why? Because you're an undercover audience. <laughs> Undercover viewer. <laughs> Undercover subscriber. <laughs> you might as well subscribe. <laughs> I got stalkers, you guys. And they are undercover subscribers. 
Undercover viewers, undercover likers, undercover sharers, undercover proliferators. <laughs> Y'all, I'm suffering, yo. <laughs> I'm going through so much. Like, I got undercover, undercover. Cover subscriber, <laughs> you don't see them in your numbers, but every day is a day when they see you. A day, oh, every day. Hey right, guys, thanks for the support, undercover viewer. <laughs> Witches. They camp outside my ministry and then they catch information and if not bewitched, feel satisfied. I got undercover likers, undercover sharers, and some of them like check out my content so much. Oh, guys, yes, so much. That by young Nicole, but you all guys. Hey, my tongue. Undercover plagiarizer. Yeah. Y'all gonna get hurt something bad. Mm. Undercover creeper. Undercover creeper. Undercover subscriber. Undercover viewer. Undercover liker and sharer. Undercover appreciator. Undercover thief. Undercover stealer of my undercover ideas. We gonna talk about these undercover lovers. Yo, hey. Let's only mal. I was again bomb. Undercover lover. Mm -hmm. I'm just so tired. I'm tired, you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. The Lord knows I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. Jesus is giving me plans. Ooh, Jesus is giving me ideas. Ooh. Jesus is whispering into my ear. And so gives me anointed understanding. Um, but I got some undercover stealers on my work. You know the purge, looting, pillaging, plunder, yeah. That be like how undercover subscribers be working out on my situation. Undercover admirer. Undercover admitter that I'm the baddest. Mm -hmm. Undercover taker, undercover stealer, undercover plagiarizer, undercover cheat. Undercover copier. Undercover. You didn't study for the exam. <laughs> so now you gotta go steal somebody else's answers. Undercover. We're gonna put you in your place, okay? <laughs> Undercover subscriber. Ah. 
Right, I can paddle higher than you. Hmm? Maybe they think they're silk, eh? They think they're silk. With their sexual perversion. In order for them to proliferate their thing. There's gotta be a meeting in Carabos, a bedroom, a bedroom, bedroom, bedroom! And I cannot appeal it. Oh, I'm gonna lose my edge. You know, <clears throat> I'm gonna lose whatever it is that people think I'm good at. <laughs> There's a meeting in my bedroom. This little space, as in plagiarism, Hashem. We gonna have a conversation. And um, um. <laughs> you know, I am laughing because God keeps giving me flash visions and my prophecy to find these undercover subscribers how he describes them is funny and i've been getting dreams of this nature for like maybe the past week and i haven't really understood what i was seeing so i didn't share it <clears throat> i didn't share it you guys mm. until this afternoon when i was washing dishes it came to me by a word of knowledge where god was basically clarifying dreams that i got with these undercover subscribers <laughs> <clears throat> um no am i gonna get to i'm gonna get to the point you guys know i eventually get to a point it's just kind of hard to get to the point when you're in the middle of eating but we're not doing this what is the point exactly? Tell me. I'm not growing your own thing. Que sono? Que sono? Que sono? Que sono? When you ain't got your own thing to run with. Que sono? It's unfortunate when you are so flat like a tire. <clears throat> that your whole life is a crib note. <laughs> Young and Pilaco is a cheat sheet. <laughs> Your whole life is a crib note, girl, like what? Your whole life are notes that you slip into a sock just before the exam. And you cross your fingers and hope to die. That ain't nobody gonna find you out. You rocked up with some crib notes in the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going through life. Just cheating, cheating, cheating. Going through life made a crib note something. Mm. Plagiarizing, stealing, hoping that ain't nobody gonna find you out. Just yeah. on on that day, you know what I'm saying? Just a son of something. Cause I mean, you cannot possibly be cool being that talentless. Mm -mm. How in the world did I bring this apple here without a knife? I'm sorry, I have to go and get a knife. I can't eat an apple without a knife, you guys. Because, you know, when I was a kid, I happened upon a disaster. Where thankfully, I chopped the cut an apple in half and there were maggots in the middle. I was like, what? What? What is this? And ever since then, I never touched the apple without a knife. I'll be back. Hey, what's up? Here's the knife. Mmm. What's up, Hazen? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a discussion over here, okay? We're gonna have a conversation over here. Thank you very much that being as prolific as you are, you find me to be your muse, eh? I thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, 
I was rapping on and on about Ananias and Safira. Girl was rapping, angry, upset at the pity that Christians feel for me. Wanna be Christians? Out your proper. You're not a believer. Uh uh. I'm going on to work. Jesus, so we gotta have a conversation with some people over here. We have got to have a conversation with some posers. The large majority of which are in America. America, America, oh, America. Anyway. However, there are also others from this Magog home, from these streets, they're from around the South African uh, insanity. But the majority, but the grand majority are from the U. A <laughs> undercover subscriber. That's what's good. Undercover subscriber. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. You over there that's making money off my content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a speech lag. It's okay. I told you about it. I've already given my caveats. I'm exhausted. Okay. This speech lag is just gonna keep going and going and going, but we're gonna get the message out. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of this nonsense. Whoa! How oh, I am so weary. Ooh, but don't like to in Gaga. But you know, as exhausted as we are, it don't matter. Because at the end of the day, when an undercover stealer or an undercover uh, suspender, whatever you want to call it, it's all up in your grill. There's nothing you can do. They be out here in these streets looting. Out here in these streets plundering. Can we talk, please? Can we talk, please? Can we have a conversation about the fact that uh, we are in the last days and so people are just these like little monstrosities. Yes, we have a successful apple. It does not have a worm in the middle. Oh, thank you. Now let's look for brown patches. I can't stand brown patches on apples. It's like, what are you doing? They're like a Baruth sacrifice. The one that Cain gave to God. I don't like it, no I don't. A bruised apple for what I am. Let's talk about these undercover subscribers all up in my ministry. Ananias and Safira, this one's for you. Ananias and Safiri, this one's for you. Anani, 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 oh! Uh. This one's for you. Mm -hmm. Let me listen, okay? Copycat crisis, that's what we got going on down here in these streets. Um, And while I'd be okay if you were taking my content because you are inspired and are sharing and proliferating the message of the gospel, that's cool, I don't care. Oh, share it as much as you wanna, cause sharing is caring, this is the word of God. And we're not pedantic about copyright, no. Mm. Cause can't nobody copyright God's word. Ain't nobody putting IP on God's word. Ain't nobody putting intellectual property on God's word now. We're in the last days, aren't we? Yes, we are. Hanging out in the terrible days that are perilous all over women are lovers of themselves ooh, as well as lovers of money ooh. boastful proud arrogant copycats i added that why because in order to make that money bland randall dry idea <laughs> that's you got nothing going on it's arid it is arid. It is a desert land over there. 
Why am I struggling with a speech lag? Because my life sucks. Hmm. That's okay. That's all good in the hood. Steal prophecy. Do you, girl? Steal prophecy. Do you, guy? Do that, like proper. When the Lord done gave it to you for free. But you steal it. Mm. You know on that day that you have waited, you've fallen from grace. You are far from salvation. When you steal a free thing. It's like all you had to do was ask. Boom, doo -doo -doo -doo. All you had to do was ask. Boom, doo -doo -doo. It was a buffet. All you can eat. All you had to do was ask. Boom, doo -doo -doo -doo. But you see, we're in the last days. Mm. And people are lovers of themselves. Lovers of. Oh, but some ways I got speech lag vibes. What's going on? What's happening? Somebody please tell me what's going on over here. I'm gonna stop singing when done. Especially considering I have a speech lag. We don't appreciate that. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's still kind of hot in here. That's why. Mmm. No? Mmm. 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 I'm not a fan of apples. But when there's no blueberries and tangerines, it's all I have. Why? I don't know. It's not my favorite fruit. Like, it's just such a lost resort. Much like what under heaven a dry person with no, uh, no anointing would ultimately settle for. Claiming that this is what the Lord of the Word, the Word of the Lord done told you to go and tell some people. But you just stole a little plagiarizer, you. Um, you're a thief. Say it's a thief. A thief, stop thief. Mmm. Ah. We're gonna talk, you know? There's like so many issues that I'm experiencing. I've been mourning and crying to God. But where is my breakthrough? Where is my breakthrough? Why am I sitting in all this solitude? Why is nobody listening to me? Until the Lord was like, honey, you have an audience. What are you talking about? However, your audience are undercover subscribers. Milking a cow, yeah. Undercover wannabe Christian. Milking a cow, yeah. Undercover wannabe telling themselves, yo, I find the world might waste her brain, but I won't. Okay. Mmm. It's all good. I'm good. We're done with this apple. Apples, I just, I'm not a fan, okay? Let's just put it out there. Mmm. Young boy. Mmm. One minute. The world is about to suffer a severity of judgment. Let me just put that out there. I'm struggling with the speech leg, Mona. I don't know what's going on. And I'm worried now that this thing might not even still be recording. Uh, so should I like... Stop recording and trust I'm good. Ooh. <laughs> I get to burp, leave me alone. You know what? I'm very sad. I'm actually broken hearted. I don't even know how in the world I'm still able to release even one song. I'm sorry guys, I have to stop recording. This is getting uh, literally out of hand. The the, the speech lag Lana is giving me problems. It's a worry in me that I'm busy talking, talking, talking without it actually recording. Uh, yeah. Oh goodness, Lord, why not just give me a new phone? I don't understand. Like, I need to get something out. Okay. Well, let me just. Uh, you know what's boring me? You know what's annoying me? It's the fact that one minute. It's the fact that I have to put them together in my editor and I'm not in the mood But I also don't want to lose Everything that I speak because this thing is like glitching. Let me just save it Hey, what's up? Yeah, I think it's better now 
uh, the speech lag is less intense. I must just remember to speak for no more than half an hour here because I already have uh, an additional part. I'm gonna be slightly more serious in this tone in this section because I'm just like, yeah, I never really know what to do. Whenever I get certain information, for me it's like, God, this is literally too much. It's too much. But you see, that's just the thing. The world in the last days is this like too much chaotic, cantankerous, feverish um, insanity. It's an incessant insanity. It's just pushing a prolific crazy thing like on a loop with with it's a deep psychosis that appears uh, immovable the way that everybody is just so gangster demon possessed like just violently it's out of this world like anything anything to hurt god's true people while all of these charlatans all over the show thrive claiming to be us there is a vow to be a great record setter in the old grill and it's gonna be so humiliating for especially those guys when the record suddenly gets set straight y'all are about to be humiliated in the worst way Y'all are about to be shown some flames, yeah. Y'all are about to be embarrassed because yo skinny behind a e r is still gonna be loitering these streets after the rapture. But oh, look at you sounding so very wise. Look at you sounding so very wise when you are still a fool. But hey, you out your looking wise. Mm. Let me just talk and stop singing. Where shall we put this mouse? Wherever it wants to go, really. Angsten and Dabamina at this point. I'll just put it down here. Okay, guys, we're gonna have a discussion. Less singing, more talking. Plagiarism copycat crisis that's what we shall call it you over there always hanging out with some crib notes in an exam i'm suffering i'm broken i'm devastated my life is really hard and everything i have endured since 2014 has been inspired by random monsters like you i found them in corporate south africa and now i'm finding them on youtube I don't even want to talk about this because it's like I'm blowing into air like I'm speaking to people that are on a mission like they like the moment you tell yourself every man for himself forget about being a Christian that's all I'm gonna say except there's more I'm gonna say because you know I can expand the moment you roll around telling yourself every man for himself you're not a Christian Dumbo do you understand because that's what you are just flagrantly dumb to imagine yes without even putting what was this without even acknowledging the silent b because you're dumb dumb to a point of recognizing not recognizing that the b is silent that's how dumb you are because to anticipate that god almighty does not see that random rubbish is the equivalent of dumbness mm. okay you there who's out here dropping bombs in a woman's life undercover subscriber we're gonna talk especially those of you sitting in the u.s of a your country is burning proper like hellfire and when a nation is judged stuff like this starts to happen innovation flies out the window the lord drains you do you understand of all things that enabled you to thrive as a country and so all you can do is steal you are dumb not dumb dumb to imagine a holy god does not see the indiscretion of largely america however there are dumb south africans too let me just put this out there i lost my job because of dumb people like the ones that are busy stealing my content on youtube i was the better one i was the skilled one i was the qualified one i was the perfect girl for the job 
and a bunch of dumb randos that wanted my position scooted me out of the way but not first taking down not first before taking down bullet point after bullet point after bullet point of everything that i was doing of everything that i contributed and then running with it as their own when i was in my first uh when i was newly employed at mtn our boss asked us as program coordinators there were three of us do you understand to come up with a way to do health checks audit checks basically auditing of the project managers to come up with a an uh, uh, a process or an automated or a, basically something that would make it not so onerous a task to try and figure out the what is the word that i'm looking for compliance of project managers she tasked three of us with this job and i was the only one that sat around burning the midnight oil trying to figure this out on excel doing all different kinds of tricks and stunts until ultimately i found an automatable way to do health checks and audit checks etc did anybody ever come and thank me no did the other coordinators ever confess that they did nothing no did my boss see it fit to congratulate me and therefore it reflect in my appraisal no nothing of that nature happened so i imagine that what i produced was substandard quality until something like four years down the line here it is now that i'm a project manager and not only my department but a whole load of mtn group had embraced their project management offices not just the hours had taken my little bright idea and used it as a company standard i essentially created a process that became part and parcel of organizational processes and nobody saw it fit to tap me on the shoulder and say this deserves an accolade this deserves a star you should be an mtn star you should be nominated for some accolade something that an organization across sa and group eventually embraces as the standard the baseline of doing audit and health checks one person did it single-handedly burning the midnight oil and nobody ever gave me kudos nobody ever admitted it was me but it was clear that it was me no one ever said thank you and no one ever admitted that it was so good that it was worth the while to get taken up by the whole freaking company across group and sa like let's just put that out there mtn was made up of two parts in south africa there was a south african co component and then group group of which includes the operating companies of mtn which are across africa my little processes got embraced by project management offices of mtn group and nobody said thank you girl five years down the line from me starting to work at mtn at all i lost my job unfairly suspended and then ultimately just dismissed but i mean i left all that with them still to this day i would imagine they're still doing that maybe they might have automated it because it was still largely manual at the time with excel and everything but i was the person that spearheaded the first first steps of moving towards automation uh well before i lost everything a similar thing happened yet again later where a bunch of lackluster rando with no true skill nor talent scooted me out of the way but not first taking over my method of working my strategy the thing that i employed to successfully run an entire company-wide program it was just handed over to some random lackluster no-brainer that just took it on from here i got it from here really i got it from here how about you start from scratch let's do that yeah let's see how you survive being placed on a massive program and run with it from scratch putting together in a neat little bunch leading these bunch of chickens all over the show and causing them to walk in single file do that from scratch rando but nobody would ever confess that I, what i started what they took on from here was my innovation it was my mind work it was my mind's work do you understand they were able to carry on from where it is that i left off and then just fired me a couple of months later stuff like that has been happening to me on a loop and it is quite frankly an emotional issue for me i am a genius do you understand i am extremely gifted in the worst way and then over and above being gifted i then happen to be christian so now i've got funnels of information coming through by the anointing of the holy spirit meaning that i am not only just violently intellectually gifted i also am just like incredibly wise 
Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One brings understanding. So natural intelligence, that's what I got going for myself. And then I decided to go and be born again. And then I just became an all-rounder, just wellspring of information. And while I don't have any qualms with people taking what I'm saying and running with it, I've got issues with the lack of acknowledgement because as a result of that lack of acknowledgement, I am today living in so much squalor and abject poverty that I can't even come up for air, I can't breathe, I'm facing death while people are still freaking plundering my brain. This damn planet is still plundering my brain. They're still losing, looting my mind. People are still purging my IP, my intellectual property. And I've never been the kind of person to insist that there be some kind of indeed, you know, a copyright stamp on anything of mine. Because I've always believed sharing is caring. But I have massive qualms with poverty now. With me being unable to make any money while other people make money using my freaking content. I've got issues with that. First and foremost, I never even intended to ever monetize ministry. So to show just how far this earth has fallen, these people are using my information, largely Americans, but there are some random South Africans too, taking my information, my co the stuff I say here, which by the way, I rock up every day, not sure what to say. I just stand here, press record on a phone that does not work properly. And then I just start flowing because that's just the thing, right? From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. From your belly will flow rivers of living water. The anointing is from on high. And the Lord is the one that said in his word in Luke 21, that don't be afraid, no nervous as to what you're going to say when you arrive in front of these governors and kings. Because I will give you exactly what you must say. So I rock up here, guess this sure, what I'm gonna say, okay? And then I just start recording and it all comes to me. So Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. The promises of God are being made true. That I'm being given what I need to say. At the final hour, at the 11th hour, when I did not prepare a speech in advance, when I did not jot down bullet points, when I don't need any freaking cue cards, I just talk. But you need cue cards, don't you? You need a pen and a paper, don't you? You need to jot down some notes, don't you? After all, you are a cribber, aren't you? After all, you're the type of person to go and grab crib notes and put them in your sock and go into the exam room and hope that the invigilator is not going to catch you. Except your invigilator is an omnipresent and an omniscient God. So what exactly is going on in your dumb brain to imagine that you can steal prophecy and monetize it in a different ecosystem where the individual in question is not even intending on monetizing ministry but fitness other things because i recognize the tough times that we find ourselves in in these last days where it is that they're going to keep on shadow banning christian content all over the show so i never intended to monetize but i got a real like this is a site for me it's a sore point it's a freaking trigger okay it's a trigger because ever since i could remember i have had these lackluster randoms just steal from me without acknowledgement and when I was making money that was okay when I was earning a salary that was okay when I was able to buy my own shoes my own socks when I was able to buy my own sandwich when I was able to pay my fees and when I still had a future to look forward to all of these random plagiarizing buffoons it's like do you fly like a bird I don't care at least I'm grabbing my future but now my whole future has been taken away and I am still starving I am still being plundered I am still a excruciatingly poverty stricken Yet there are people thoroughly making a salary out of my brains. I'm not a waste of a life. I am a slave. I am like a big fat chunky goose that lays the golden freaking eggs. That people are just coming and pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. They walk away from my ministry for five weeks and they come back when it goes all dry where they're at. And by the time they come back, there's like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 golden eggs that have been laid by this unfortunate poverty stricken goose that is facing the slaughter. She's facing being goose like meat over Thanksgiving dinner since it's coming up in America. I'm facing being on the plates of Americans for lunch, breakfast and dinner, but not first before laying a whole bunch of golden eggs for a couple of like just ornately irresponsible and flagrantly opportunistic Americans. Yeah, well, I mean, and a couple of like these random South Africans. I've been looted by my own countrymen and now America is looting me, refusing that I should at least get big enough to feel like I'm not wasting time. In other words, for me, it's about acknowledgement, right? So I never intended on monetizing my ministry. That never would have happened. I never intended on monetizing my ministry. 
but I certainly do feel some kind of sorrowful way when all of my views are coming to some other content creator somewhere else that's not shadow banned by their dumb country somebody else that's not being shadow banned by america is thoroughly able to convince people to subscribe to them listening to my content using my wisdom it's not mine i can't lay claim to it it belongs to jesus but you see it's not about money this thing it's about accolade and acknowledgement the thing that i had qualms with at mtn was the fact that nobody was trying to ad admit that i freaking flipped the process that an entire organization across group and SA used that was my issue the fact that you're gonna go out here and look me in the face and give me a 2.8 in an appraisal in an appraisal proper after i came up with a process that flipped the organization a 2.8 out of five just so you can thwart my career because you that dumb boss yeah my issues my qualms were always about a lack of acknowledgement not so much about a salary increase not about money it is about acknowledgement it is about reward for work it is about somebody saying thank you we appreciate this it is about feeling feeling like i have made a difference in somebody's life do you see and so because of me something about their particular existence is ever so slightly better ever so marginally better and if their lives are better i've done my job i've always been that way you see that's the thing i'm an infj quite humanitarian at core don't really expect monetary benefit for what i do however i do really get off on people saying thank you i like appreciation i don't respect ingrates and i don't like being plundered do you understand I am happy that people should use my content, but when your stupid country, your dumb nation, is thoroughly grabbing all of my juice and giving it over to American content creators that are just going on right ahead to talk the things I speak and act like it's theirs, and so therefore all the views, all the likes, all the shares of everything that I have said, I'm getting them. Somebody is proliferating this message, but it's not me. I'm not seeing the accolades. I'm not seeing the congratulations. I'm not seeing the upvotes. I am not seeing that I'm actually making a difference. All I see is this dry, arid desert. A whole bunch of your little devil worshippers, your seance makers, your high priests and priestesses. All I see are these satanic randos all over the show with their witchcraft. Them trying to block my ministry, thwart me, do strange things. But no, my goodness, actually see that my content is being taken up by lots more people, just not on my channels. Just not on my channels. Oh my goodness, you plagiarist you. And so, I mean, if you're going to go and plagiarize God's content, you are, of course, not a Muslim. What are you doing? If you're going to go and plagiarize Christian, you are not a Mormon. If you're going to go and plagiarize Christian content, you are not a Jehovah's Witness. If you're going to go and plagiarize Christian content, you're not an atheist. If you are going to plagiarize Christian content, you're not an irreligious rando. You are a freaking professing Christian. That's what you are. If you are plagiarizing Christian content, you have got a reputation for being alive even though you are dead. Oh, Ananias and Safira, this here is a massive qualm that I have with what is the so-called body of Christ that is besotted with my content, but no, no, not so much as supporters of my cause and the cause of heaven just in general, but of their own pockets, supporters of their own ill-gotten gain. Whoa, okay, so the Bible says that you people are like ones who think you can use the name of God as a means of financial gain. Yeah, a Christian is suffering, she's struggling, she can't come up for air. And all you can think about is seeing what under heaven it is that you can use in this woman's content since nobody else is watching her. So you feel as if though it's your prerogative to go and grab the goose that lays the golden eggs and make her just hatch a whole bunch of these shiny ornate eggs in your backyard for real in your barn you when you steal this little unfortunate woman that is weaving gold because that's her skill and then expect her to be able to spell the name rumpelstiltskin before she can be set free is that what we're doing is that what we're doing making me weave gold perpetually over and over and over again and you won't let me go because i am your gold mine whoa i mean i'm not gonna stop recording videos that much is a fact it's what you must understand i'm not going to stop just so you random thieves can seize and desist from what you're doing i'm gonna continue but not first before just putting it out there that i am aware what you're doing because god has shown me that he is about to flatten you he is about to end you and this is what it is that are the dreams that i got i've got people that are 
listening to what I'm saying the rivers of living water that are bubbling from the belly you kind of have to be Christian for that to be a thing so I mean if you're dry rando with no ideas coming anywhere it's because you're not godly don't you see don't you see like God does not run out of things to say that's why I never run out of things to say that's why I've got topics every day that's why I flow so freely so easily that's why I don't need cue cards I don't need mnemonic cues to let me know what under heaven is coming next I don't gotta plan I don't gotta go to the drawing board I just gotta rock up and talk and boom out comes the word of God because I got those rivers of living water in my belly something that you kind of lack and so of course you're gonna go on right ahead in order to, to maintain a YouTube channel a YouTube channel or a Facebook page whatever it is that you're doing in order for you to maintain it you gotta keep on scratching your head because it's paying the bills it's paying for your children's t uh, tuition at varsity it is paying for your little baby girls diapers and so it doesn't really matter that you are that freaking dishonest if you are Christian you should not struggle with things to say you shouldn't be mum because the Lord should give you everything that you need to say when you arrive at that juncture when you get at that point that's what's good you should be enabled to basically do everything you are given everything you need in order to live a life in godliness so if you've put yourself in a position of prophetess or prophet if you've put yourself in a position of preacher or pastor when you run dry i guess god wants you silent now for a season doesn't he otherwise if you speak anyway you are not speaking as the lord has sent you to speak i wonder how in the world you're even refashioning my arguments because i mean you lack my splendor don't you i've got this thing called a personality that frankly my words come together tied part and parcel with mm. and if you don't have my particular thing that i'm doing i don't even know how you are prospering to relay the message i am speaking without being me yeah that's just the thing it's about the me thing here i'm the individual in question that the lord has given this suite of gifting alongside the understanding that he has seen it fit to give me and here it is that people insensitive as they all gather around me are are thoroughly disregarding the fact that I am in squalor and in poverty and I'm not even trying to do anything to motion my freedom. All they can do is imagine me, the uncomfortable silly goose, laying the golden. I'm laying some eggs for some lackluster Americans and a few other rabid South Africans. But the largest majority of people that are stealing my content are from the US of A. I told you, your country is tanking. It is tanking rapidly and ravenously precisely because of stuff like that stuff like that and co I mean like there's so many other things there's so many other things but that being among them you are a wicked and reprobate generation America and the fact that God is not even saving your church is because of stuff like this because you see it's showing that America is falling apart because its church is apostate its church is apostate because if you're busy stealing content from some really eloquent African and you're making it your own with your own audience watching you, you're not a Christian. Like, what are you doing? The Bible, it is written therein that the Lord is going to, in the last day, send out a famine on the land. Not a famine for food, nor that of a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Where is the Lord going to send a famine? Because he says that in days of famine, my disciples will enjoy plenty. So the famine here is of the word of the Lord. If, however, there is a dry, patchy, arid, like, section of land where you're at, and you're not getting fed, you are not his disciple. It's that basic. You should, in times of a famine of the word of God, be satiated individually. Just you. Because you are consecrated, you are God's. But if you have to go and juice an unfortunate African, if you have to go and exsanguinate the blood out of an African, just to continue to look like in days of famine, you've got plenty? Honey, on that day, you are getting some other source of feeding intravenously into your veins other than God. I think last time I checked, that is a symbiotic relationship called parasitism. Yeah, that makes you a parasite. You are a parasite and I'm the host. And the disquieting thing about chewing and eating and sucking away at the blood and flesh of a parasite of a host as a parasite is that when the host dies, so too does the parasite die. So tell me this, oh parasitic Americans, where are you going to get your content when all the Africans you keep on plundering are dead? Because you're putting us in a position to die, don't you see? You are impoverishing us and you are keeping us impoverished. While you go and you convert into dollars the words of someone sitting all the way in Africa. How's that working out for you? 
how in the world across four youtube channels am i not close to monetization across any of them and allow me to also highlight that i never intended anyway on monetizing ministry i was always going to be working on fitness but you see even my fitness is shadow banned by your dumb country so it is no wonder you feel it necessary to continue to plunder because god is not giving you ideas you are judged as a land the church is apostate because if it was not apostate the lord would for the sake of the church rescue all of america so if at all he is allowing the whole country to fall it must mean that the body of christ therein is so watered down so flaccid and so fallen that he is allowing all of it to crash and all of it to burn what in the world and the heaven is going on in my ministry i will tell you it's america yeah of course in some random flaccid lackluster no-brainer south africans that's always going to be a thing but this thorn in my flesh that is the american indiscretion i apologize understand you are about to be drained in the worst way as much as you exsanguinate me of whatever little blood i have in my bloodstream so too is the lord about to exsanguinate you as a country i had a dream i'm going to tell you that dream in the coming part all of these cribbers all of these undercover subscribers all of these undercover sharers all of these undercover proliferators of my content <laughs> The Lord showed me what's about to happen to you using an analogy that I will explain in my next part. And it is only today when I finally understood what in the world it is that I was being told. From our bellies flows rivers of living water. But if from your belly there are no rivers of living water, but crib notes from some other person whose belly has rivers of living water, you are disqualified as a Christian. You are worse than an infidel. Do you understand? You have denied the faith. You cannot steal the word of God. The Lord anoints every last one of us individually and specifically and particularly. We all have a different ministry when we come to him. We all have a different purpose. And he has fashioned all of us in order to reach a specific people group. So now when you try to proliferate Garabo's message as Garabo but without being Garabo, you're just not going to do what Garabo is supposed to do. You're not going to succeed. You're not going to get... You know, are you suffering as I am? Are you persecuted like me? Have you lost everything? Are you strangely unable to make money despite the fact that you are as intelligent, as gifted, and as skilled as you are? That's just the thing. No, you're not. You're a cushy little pampered, spoiled brat American hanging out in the middle of California or wherever you might find yourself. Unable for the life of you to come up with a single unique idea. And so you are falling apart. You are not me. You are a spoiled brat. You are not me. You are fat with luxury. You are not me. You are fat with leisure. You are not me. You are fat with a slovenly disposition. You are not me. You are fat with being pampered. All you can do is riot. All you can do is stand on a rooftop and cry about your rights. All you can do is proliferate a stupid thing when there are far bigger issues somewhere else in the world. You are not me. And so for those reasons, the level of oomph and impetus of delivery of the messages that I have to bring forward, you will never achieve it. You will never succeed to bring it across. You will fail abysmally. And worse off, you will sound even dumber than you already are. Let's move to the next part.